All right, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to play The Promised Land by Lillian Axe. Uh, before I do anything, I'm going to tell you about the tuning. Um, guitars tune down a whole step, and if you don't know how to do that, it's uh, really simple. You just take your low E, tune it to your D string, which is called drop D, and then tune all your other strings down to the low E, and that'll move everything down a whole step. This is the way I keep my guitar tuned down, so uh, you don't have to tune your guitar like this, but if you're trying to play along and match what I'm doing, it's not going to sound right. Um, I think this I think this song is tuned down a half step on the recording. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, this is just the way I keep my guitar, and um, it's a great tuning. Plus, it helps with uh, singing, if you're singing songs that are a little higher vocally. But anyway, this is a... Uh, this is a really, really beautiful song by Lillian Axe, one of my favorites. And to me, it's a, an example of just the genius of how Steve Blaze puts chords together and writes songs and makes melodies. Just really beautiful. It took me a, took me a while to figure this one out, actually. And um, if you've been trying to play it, hopefully this will help you. So uh, what we're going to start out is an E minor right here at seven on your A string. That's your root note for that E minor bar chord. Instead of this regular E minor, play it here at seven on your root. Start out like that. You'll just have to, I'm gonna be focusing on the chord shapes and um, the, the picking patterns are if you're not used to picking, this is just the way I play because I grew up listening to 80s rock and um, this is just the way I play. But if you're not familiar with these picking patterns, just mess around with it and find your own pattern and just do whatever sounds right. But okay, um, first year, I'm just gonna show you these shapes and then I'll call. we'll go back and I'll call them out to you. So it's E minor right here, and then a D power chord where you're going to, root note's going to be on five on the A string, you're going to hit all three of these strings, then a C power chord, and some kind of B over D shape, back to your C. that B to a D chord with your high E left open, ends on G. Let me just demonstrate it again for you. C. C. So that's the part they do when they're singing, where he goes, now I leave me down sleep I pray the Lord my soul to keep then it does it again pray the Lord my soul to take then it does it you know a couple of more times To the promised land, that D to the G promised land. Now here's where it gets really tricky, and here's where it gets really, really cool. After that G, which is just a regular major G chord, you're gonna grab this note at the fourth fret on the E string, which is some kind of G sharp. I don't know what this chord is called. I know it has a name, but I don't know what it is. What you're gonna finger there is take your pointer finger, third fret, B string, middle finger, G string, fourth fret, and then that fourth fret, low E. And that's gonna be the chord you're gonna go to after that G major, it's gonna sound like this. It's 
Sorry you can't see my fingers very well. But it's gonna go from the G. It's gonna... picking pattern is going to look something like and from there it's going to go to an A minor not down here but take your take your ring finger on the uh, D string 7th fret pointer finger G string 5th fret and that's going to give you this really haunting A minor Starts the uh, the singing. Cold December. Back to that funny G G sharp thing. So long ago, we watched the snow cling to the trees. The A minor end on an E. And you go back to that A minor thing. Your lips were so warm to that G sharp thing. When you kissed my hand We would have sailed the seven seas Okay, so make sure you got those two things down before you try to move forward because those are those are kind of, un especially this thing, this is a really unusual chord. So make sure you get those fingerings down. But then when he goes to the part where he says, then you walked away, he said you could not stay. It's going to go to a D minor. C. G. It's going to go. And when you walked away. And into a C chord. Said you could. It's going to walk down. Not stay. A minor. Grab the G. No. To an F and lovely E major dying like a A minor wound at a B note and don't see it's a lot of chords but let me just show them to you again slowly it's gonna look like this D minor C G C Walk down B, A minor, add a G note, F, E major, A minor, walk it up, B, C, back to D minor, C, G, C, walk down B to A minor, grab that G note, F, in the E. In the promised land. Back to that A minor. Then he goes into the second verse. Are you feeling lonely? G sharp thing. Do you need a friend? Or is the pain too much to stand? Back to that um, D minor. The seeds of love to see a sown inside. F in memories of our lives. A minor. Guide our hand. C. Walk down to the A minor. Grab the G. says take my hand to the promised land you're gonna go back to the D minor it's gonna go take my hand see what does he do there I'm trying to explain it sing it and play it at the same time it's kind of hard so he goes there you go yeah it's a D minor take my hand C G back to a C to the promised land 
major hand. So let me show you that again. Those chords are going to be D minor, C, G, to a C, and down at E major, accent it. And from there, when he goes to a guitar solo, you're going to slide up. Keep that E shape. You're going to slide up all the way to seven. Play all those strings open. It's going to sound like this. Let me show you that in, in context. So you're going to hold that for, uh, you're going to hold that two times once it goes to the, to the E, it's going to go to that A. During the solo, back to the A. To the E major. Then you're going to go to that uh, A minor thing that he was doing. Hold that. A G sharp. Hold it. Right, and then it goes like this. Which is an A minor. Grab that B note to walk it up. And then turn it into a C chord. Then it goes back to that D minor when he says, Walked away. See, walk it down. Said you could not stay in love, lay bleeding like a wounded dove. And it goes there one more time. If it needs to be to the sea, I will set you free. G F on that A minor and then on the outro I believe he goes back to that to the promised land and then here he's going to go to a C chord you know that part in the recording when you can hear him kind of, he's kind of doing an ad lib there he goes to that C part he's going to that E minor bar chord for the outro. Now lead me down to sleep. Pray the Lord my soul to keep. And every moment I'm awake, I pray the Lord your soul deep. With that high E open. That's a lot of chords, um, and it's it's pretty it's pretty complicated, but um, that's a, that's all of it, kind of chopped up, and um, you just play this over again. You just focus on the parts, you'll get it. And um, man, it's a it's such a beautiful song. When you get this down, you you really won't be able to stop playing it. And um, I've played this thing over and over and over and over, and um, it's just so pretty. So um, yeah, give it a shot. So it's a great song, and more people need to know about Lily and Axe, and more people need to know how to play their songs. Anyway, have fun. Thanks for watching.